Hey everyone and welcome to another video in our how to series. Today we're going to be looking at how you put a comic onto the Comixology app. So to start off with you need to sign up for a Comixology account. Um, I'm not going to go through that process. If you'd like me to go through that process leave a comment underneath the video. Uh, let me know you'd be interested. Once you've signed up for a Comixology account uh, you need to go to submit.comixology.com uh, log in and you'll come to this which is your essentially your account page as you can see it lists all the books that you currently have in the system with Comixology and their status so for us for example you can see Megatype Battle Rabbit 3 is approved and processed and various other stages there are other sections in here which we're not going to go through for today the one we're going through today is the submissions so you want to click on this big blue button add new submission that will bring up a submission page now the submission is going to be made up into five sections you're going to pick the series that this comic belongs to you're going to put all the information around the comic you're then going to attach all of the creators in that you're going to fill in a little bit about the comic that you want to submit to Comixology to give them a bit more information on the product and then you submit your review. Today we're going to be adding the Spark issue 2. If you've been following us at Fair Spark Books you'll notice that we've started a new magazine called The Spark. Issue 1 came out in October last year and issue 2 has is just gone off to the printers today as of recording this and we're super excited to get that out to you all. So thank you to everyone who's pre-ordered. If you haven't, head over to the sparkmag.co.uk and pick up your copy today. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. As you can see, we already have the Spark series set up, but if you didn't, you just have to create a new series simply by pressing the Create a New Series button. What this will do is it will bring you to a page where you can create your series. And it's really simple to do. You just put in your title, so the Spark magazine. You'd put a description of it, the best magazine ever. You want to put when it started publishing. If it's an ongoing series, just click the tick. Put your primary language, select your age rating, very important. There's a little description here if you want to have a look at the rating guidelines. Uh, so for example, this would just be all ages. And select your genre. Uh, for example, let's just put children's as, and then add another one because it's a sci-fi magazine, we could potentially put sci-fi. As with all these submission services, they always expect you to have your images in a certain size and format. For Comixology series page, it is a 600 by 600 pixels in a JPEG format. Pretty much any imaging software is going to be able to do that for you. We use Photoshop or Illustrator, very easy to set up and do. Once you have all that defined, you just click save progress and continue. Um, but because we already have our series already created, I'm going to re-click this button at the top and says use existing series. So that takes me back to this screen and I'm going to pick the spark. As you can see, because we already have used it, it's going to pre-fill all the information in. The reason it shows you this each time you select the series, even if you've already created it, is so that you can update some of that information. Uh, like you might want to update that cover, for example. But I'm happy with the cover, so we're going to leave it as it is and click Save Progress and Continue. Now, if at any point you wanted to go away from the computer for a little while and then come back, you can just click the button Exit and Continue Later. That is going to save your current status and then bring you back. Because we hadn't named the comic yet, it's still you can see at the top it's just put it as Untitled Submission 20 because it's, what, the 20th book? And then the next time you come back in, you can just click resume and carry on. So once you've clicked save progress and continued on a series, you're going to now come to the comic information page. Now this is very similar to all the others we've done before. First you have to select your PDF format. As you can see, there's some very strict guidelines. Um, maximum file size is one gigabyte. Try to just bring down the quality of your export if that becomes a problem. And then you just want to try and make sure that the comic dimensions are followed in here. Just follow the simple instructions they've got. 1800 on its smallest side pixel wise. So that's whether it's horizontal or vertical, the side length smallest, just make sure it's at least 1800. And then the color mode, RGB, just because it's on a computer, it's going to look better. That's easy to do. As you can see here, it tells you how to do that in Photoshop. 
and include a full size cover as part of your PDF on page one. So just make sure that you upload from cover to cover. That's what we do. It works best. Never had any problems. Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to select our Spark 2. And then the second thing we're going to need is an image. So for this, I'm going to open up Photoshop. Once we're in Photoshop, what I like to do is I like to open up the cover that we have exported. So as you can see here, we have a cover here that is exported. What I then like to do is go to image, image size, and then find out what the recommended minimum width is. So the image must be a minimum of 640 pixels on its smallest side in a JPEG format. So what I do is I look for what the shortest side of me is, and for here it's the width so let's just make that 640 which auto adjusts the height and then it's simple as that we just click OK as you can see it's now exported lovely and then I go to file export export as and I just from this format select JPEG make sure it's a hundred percent there you go export and then in here I'm just gonna quick cover to Comixology. Then when you're back on here, this screen, you can just click choose file. We go back, we find the file we just made and you click that. As you see, nothing's actually uploaded at this point. This is a big mistake I made when I first started is that none of this gets saved until the point that you click save progress and continue. So before we do that, let's finish off the information. So as you can see, direction directionality is left to right our format is that of a magazine select release type it's the same day as print selecting the release type allows you to say whether it's something that was already released ages ago it's going to be released same day as a print it's a digital first digital only it's your preference I always put same day as print the comic title is the spark this is issue number two next thing is the description so if you already have your description, just paste it in. Otherwise, write one out for the magazine or comic in your case. Um, skew if you really want to put one for, this is like tracking the payments of stuff against a skew number in your own system. I don't need one for this, but the Spark, we price at 2.99 uh, US dollars. And then click save progress and continue. As you can see, once you click that, it pulls up this page and it's going to start showing the progress bar to uploading because it's quite a large file it's going to just take a minute and it's going to upload the PDF and the cover image so we'll just wait for that to be done and there we have it once the pages have uploaded it will bring you to the creators page if it didn't that's because you did something wrong and it will show you the error message for example it might turn around and say the file format you attempted to upload is wrong or like they mentioned the file is too big over one gig so now we just need to add all the creators that are instrumental for making your comic or your book or your magazine and there's two ways of doing that first you just use this search button for find a creator for in our case Rob Barnes we'll start off with him and just out of experience I know that it's the second one but you're going to get a list of the creators that already exist on the platform. So this means that they've already been added to the database, whether that's via another comic, another publisher, anything like that. In this case, Rob Barnes, for example, we would just click him. You select a role. In this, he's an art writer. He basically made a whole story. I wish that um, they had an option just for a full creator, but they don't. Click save. Oh, I need to delete that need to save and then it's going to add them to your creators list now if you were adding someone that you couldn't find on here for example if we just search my name it should be on there but for some reason it's not it's not appearing which is weird um, because if I bring you up to the spark one page here you can already see that I'm I am on the list and you can actually see me as a creator so I'm not 100% sure why it's not appearing in here. But when I first added that, obviously I didn't exist. So what you do is you click the blue button instead, which is add a new creator. And then you go through the same process before, add a, a first name, last name, 
select you don't have to do fill in all of this the only thing that's needed is the first name you don't even have to upload an image and you need to select at least one default role and then that's it you save progress and continue and then the next time you go back to creators list you can then search for that person not sure why that's not showing up for me I'll look into that but I'm gonna go ahead and add all those nails and I'll get back to you in a minute not sure why all the names are not coming up at the moment so I'm gonna to have to reach out to Comixology and just get them to copy over the creators from the first issue for some reason all the ones I've added don't seem to be appearing so until then we'll just carry on and I'll get them to add it after the fact the next thing you do is just click continue once you have all your creators lined up and then you can do a little tell us about your comic uh, I'm gonna actually put in a little request here about updating it so that all the people are the same on here as that were on spark one so that them crates can be added um, so I'll do that off camera once you've added the tell us about your comic it's gonna bring you to this review submission page now this is where you're gonna look at everything that's submitted for that magazine as you can see the creators only has one because I've messaged them to add the rest of them not sure why it's not showing up and you can see it's added the series it's added the comic all the notes around it and I've left some special notes so and then essentially that's it you just click submit you, you ask you to double confirm you click OK and that's it it's submitted and now you're just in the hands of Comixology uh, what you'll do is you'll get a little email saying that you've successfully submitted your um, comic then you'll get an email maybe a few days or a few weeks later just saying they've accepted it and it's in process and then they'll reach out to you when it's been converted and has a release date um, so just bear with it it does take time and good luck getting your book onto Comixology if you've been enjoying these series on how to get your comics onto different platforms and you want me to go for a specific platform please leave a comment in the, in the comments below or just reach out to me on Twitter I'd love to expand it to be include as many as possible if you've used this and you found it useful and you've managed to successfully get your comic onto Comixology leave a comment again with a link to your book I'd love to go and have a look and thanks again for joining me in this series and until next time make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video and you'll get a notification when the next one goes live so until then thank you